Well, for some kids, summer break means shopping and sleeping late. But one group of teens is returning from a trip they will never forget. Help for Haiti, Inc. took teens to the impoverished country still working to rebuild after the earthquake there four years ago. And while those teens went to change the life of orphans, their lives also changed in the process. Our reporter Samika Knight traveled with Help for Haiti and has their story. Riding in the back of this loud diesel work truck, it's far from the air-conditioned, seat-belted vehicles they're used to. Sweating and sitting on wobbling chairs, volunteers from Houston nonprofit Help for Haiti, Inc. are now in the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, ready for their mission. Welcome to Cayman. Good, Good to see, see you again. You. Setting up a summer camp for about 70 kids who call Haiti's Canaan Orphanage home. All the kids have been rejected, some of them since birth, so they don't know the meaning of love. You understand? They don't know what full love is. Volunteers wasted no time bonding with children on the playground and in the classroom. Okay. You know, we had an orphanage. And the kids just want to be hugged, they want to be touched, they want to smile, they want to touch you. And how can you not react to that? <laughs> Among the group. My dad sent me, he sent me because he says I'm like ungrateful. A handful of teenagers. It smells like the outdoors. I mean, I kind of smell a lot of dog poop and stuff. It feels muggy. Some unprepared for what they'd face. I didn't think it would be this bad. Like, I didn't think really it would be this hot. No electricity, no technology. I mean, this is the first time I've been away from my phone. But perhaps the most difficult. So this is how I was sleeping. Living without central AC. My night was horrible because I didn't bring a fan. So <laughs> I was in this thing. I couldn't feel no air. I thought I was dying. 18-year-old Bria Adams finds it hard to adjust. Like, like I can see the bugs trying to get on me through the net. It's been a tough trip for these Help for Haiti Inc. teens. But when they look around and see the young faces and often sad stories behind them. It makes you realize more how much you should appreciate, you know, your parents. Just like the thought of not having your parent, you know, and then like, they can still smile and live another day like I don't know how I would get through it if I didn't have my parents. They've seen what they go through and how they're still they're still happy like you wouldn't think you know. Their, their happiness makes me happy. <laughs> And the story does not end here. Coming up tomorrow night at 10, we'll tell you more about those beautiful little faces, the orphanage that has come to their rescue, the local nonprofit, and also a Houston teacher's emotional journey. Samika Knight, 13 Eyewitness News. A local girl with big dreams went to Haiti to work toward making her dreams come true. Samika Knight traveled with her, her teacher, and a group of several Houston teens who aren't waiting on the world to change. They are making it happen. For Delia Thibodeau on her third trip to Haiti, yeah. bathroom limitations at the Canaan Orphanage. You know you can take a shower um, with the faucet, but the water is running oh, everywhere. It's a cold shower. Come as no surprise, but for about 70 children here, a warm shower, a home washer and dryer, and a kitchen counter are all things found in fairy tales. These are my books. I love reading. Um, I read Lord of the Ring, Left Behind. 18-year-old Jennifer Eliso. This is my room, the, the older girl's room. I think it's the coolest room. Has spent nearly her entire life at the orphanage. I came here when I was six years old. But it hasn't kept her nor her friends turned sisters from having big dreams. Like we will start laundry mats, like so it's the simple things yeah. that we don't have in Haiti. Thibodeau, a high school teacher, is just one of many volunteers with the Houston nonprofit Help for Haiti Inc. working to help these children succeed. And it's like. God answered my prayers. 
Looking around, she thinks about some of her students in the states. Throwing apples and oranges away, not appreciative of getting free supplies. You come here and you give these kids that same pencil, that same piece of paper. They keep it and they're writing with little pencils this size. <laughs> um, when I finish with high school, I want to go to college. And Thibodeau believes she will. Bonjour. It's so emotional for me because I am here and I'm achieving okay. you go? not only the dream that I've been waiting for for 15 years, but I'm also achieving my goal as well to reach out and help the Haitians. It hasn't been easy, but this group says it is leaving with so much here and also the faces of each orphan etched in their minds. And they'll be there until the group comes back next year. In Monhui, Haiti, Sanika Knight, 13 Eyewitness News.